here is a brand new box of Insecto. I ordered um, eight of these units for this property. Compared to Into Care, um, this is going to be about 33% less effective by my calculations, uh, less expensive than Into Care. Uh, so Into Care now has some serious competition. As a result, uh, we're expecting that price to go down um, on the sachets because the sachets replacement are seven dollars if you buy a uh, hundred box and they're nine dollars if you buy a, a 50 box uh, so uh, very very expensive and then you have to decide how many you need on a property a property this big is probably going to be eight to ten of these so these are eleven dollars a piece right now um, you know so if, if we can put eight and solve it you know we're looking at eighty eight dollars uh, every three months because they're changed out every three months unlike uh, into care that has to be changed monthly or 45 days um, so we're testing them out we're pushing the into care to two months to see what happens see if we can still get the control see if we see still the larvae what the client experiences because you have to compete in a marketplace and when you're competing against spray companies charging for two services a month a hundred dollars a spray service we're starting out at anywhere between 89 to 109 dollars a month uh, for one monthly visit the customer calculates price based on monthly visits well he's visiting me twice a month you're only visiting me once a month and you have to compete with that but the, what we're buying uh, is is the result it's pyro it's uh, permethrin with pyroproxifen that's the label right there you fill this little thing up to the line like right here and then you basically put it somewhere or hang it um, we're gonna got some wire ties because I'm gonna hang it from between trees and shrubs um, outside so they don't get damaged the landscapers don't destroy them uh, dogs can't get to it kids can't get to it so I'm gonna put it about you know six feet in the air which is really good for mosquito uh, you don't you know you can go as high as 15 but you know six to eight feet is gonna be really good uh, in some cases we're gonna put it close to the ground uh, what you want with mosquito is you're putting it in places where there is very little air movement they're gonna like where, where there's no air movement it's dark and it's wet and there's water uh, so if you can create the perfect environment you know there's our rodent stations back here you know we might stick this product back here which is really far away from the property and maybe just hang it here you see and and not you know that way we're in an area where it's nice there's a wall the air is being blocked you know we can stick it behind the tree where the air is blocking it in a corner somewhere that's the ideal uh, place for putting these type of stations um, is where there's very little air movement there is a lot of shade and possibly the water and the water is going to be in here uh, so we create the perfect environment for a mosquito to want to be in